All right. What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and we have another um, card analysis video for you guys. This is Zoo King Alpha. Zoo King Alpha is another monster that will be coming in Phantom Rage, and this card's giving me some old Beast vibes. So we will see um, what we're talking about in just a minute. But actually, let's take a look at this monster's artwork. Um, very Beast King, very combination of Beast monsters. Kind of also gives you a bit of, I don't know if you guys remember the monster Moja and um, the uh, Great King Moja. I mean, some people will probably get that. It's like some little level one beast monster that you can send it to the grave to summon a bigger version of itself, a more frightening variation of itself. Yeah, you guys know about that. Um, but let's actually talk about Zoo King Alpha. So, it is a level 8 Earth Attribute Beast Type Special Effect Monster. Get rid of some of these ads. Um, and it's 3,000 attack, 200 defense. Uh, it cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon from your hand. While the total attack of all your opponent's monsters controlled is higher than the total attack of all monsters you control. You can use the first effect of of this with this card's name only once per turn. Uh, target one, any number of beasts, beast warrior, and or winged beast monsters you control. For the rest of the turn, uh, your Zoo King Alphas cannot attack directly. Also, return the target monsters to your hand. Then return to your hand. Return to the hand. Face up monsters your opponent controls equal to the number uh, you returned first. So it's pretty much a bounce, a big bounce on a monster that is normal summon. Um. I have some regressions to this. I I don't think it's a bad card. Um, I think for the most part, we just take a look at its effect. I think it's a decent enough effect. I don't... Because here's the thing. It can't attack directly. It can return monsters to the hand, not destroy. Based on the number of beast, beast warrior, and wingy beast monsters that you're going to return to hand first. So, mm, I don't think this is a bad card. I think it's just very situational. And I think at a point, um, what I can potentially say about the card, giant beat stick with very little out of it. Um, it is an easy special summon because most of the time, your opponent's going to have monsters um, that you can't really get over. Um, and there isn't a lot to it. So you can summon multiple monsters um, as long as their attack isn't higher than the attack of your monsters, which you control. So you can probably get about two of these on the field, if possible, which should be strong enough. Like, I, it's, it's an easy summon in some get-out-of-town situations, but then also you have to think, okay, what potentially can you take advantage of when it comes to a monster like this? Like, I, it, it's a lot that can easily be said. It's a lot that can easily be used with this, because there are some beasts, beast warrior, and winged beast that, that can take advantage of it. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just, it's a lot that can be taken advantage it's, I don't know any of right in my head, because I think the first thing I can name is probably and most likely Melfly, because of the fact that they have um, the ability to drop a lot of their monsters onto the field. You put this big monster on the field, they have such little attack anyway, you'll bounce them back, your opponent's going to have cards bounce back. Um, and then you haven't wasted a normal summon, so you can potentially do this a lot more and get a lot of effects off of it. Um, yeah, because that's the only one I can think of. Maybe some of the other beast cards, like if they beast, beast warrior, and wingy beast X, that if they don't have a sequential boss monster. But the thing about this is the effect isn't really 
boss monster category. It's just remove cards to remove cards to remove cards. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about uh, the Zoo King Alpha, and do you think that there's going to be some potential uses here? Also, let me know what you got, what decks you could potentially see this used in. So, I only think of two that it probably has some use in, it's only because of how they flow, and that's uh, Melfly and Tribrid. So, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, please hit that notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do upload more content. Also, please make sure to hit me up on social media. My social media links are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and HPJ signing out.